today we'll start abstraction so abstraction uh, the process of showing essential features to end user by hiding internal details is called as abstraction so here what will happen is generally we will show project functionality to end user by hiding internal details i will show one scenario so just i will open irctc after here observe carefully observe so here ah uh, this is login this is what login employee can login to system ah uh, now contact us it will gives the details tenders csr hr and career schedule investor or business so these all are the please observe about us board of directors what is that this we will show our business or functionality to end user hey boss we will provide this functionality if you want you can use but to design this functionality we require some coding so can you show that coding to end user huh all okay. right yes or no so generally end user required project functionality only end user does not require coding for tools and technologies what are, what are the tools and technology used to design the functionality so that is called abstraction so now we will design abstraction in two ways so what are they abstract the class and then interface now we'll discuss abstract class suppose here if you want to achieve suppose we want to achieve please mute full abstraction then go for abstract class suppose we want to achieve partial abstraction then sorry full abstraction we will go for interface partial then go for abstract class now please mute today we'll discuss abstract class the class which declared with my voice is clear hello abstract keyword is called as abstract class so please mute guys please mute abstract class contains only complete method or only incomplete method contains so otherwise i will note down is mute so there may be chance abstract class contain only complete method so abstract class contain only incomplete methods are abstract class contains both complete and incomplete methods so first we'll discuss one by one what is complete methods the method with the body is called as complete method so here example public white disk so here system dot out dot 
print ln welcome so this is definition function with the body is called as complete method so now next one incomplete method uh, function the method without body he is called as incomplete method generally incomplete method is called as abstract method so we will define incomplete method with one keyword what is the keyword abstract with the keyword abstract the keyword what is the keyword abstract keyword observe here public abstract you must to, to define the incomplete methods we should use a abstract keyword public abstract wide m1 so end with semicolon there is no body so the method without body is called incomplete method incomplete method is also called as abstract method generally incomplete method should be defined by using abstract keyword that's it this is complete method as well as incomplete method if you want so here complete method versus incomplete method huh so anyone huh the method with body is called as complete method so the method without body is called as incomplete method incomplete. Incomplete is called as uh, abstract method we will define the abstract method by using abstract class so here basically now next one so normal class concrete class versus abstract class so here concrete class hmm, is complete method is class which does not declared with abstract keyword abstract keyword so here normal example class demo so there is no abstract keyword like this now the class which declared with one keyword abstract keyword is called as abstract class abstract class so observe here abstract class class name hello that's it so any questions so abstract class should define with abstract keyword so concrete class does not declare with any abstract keyword now concrete now one more difference concrete class contains only complete methods whereas abstract class contains uh, complete methods as well as incomplete methods yes or no so here complete method is there so we can create an object to the concrete class now we can create we can create an object to concrete class so whereas we can't create an object to abstract class that's it so why because abstract class contain only incomplete methods in that scenario method without body no use so no need to create an object to the abstract class now designing designing subclass is mandatory for abstract
abstract class. Why? Because abstract class, we can't create an object. That's why. So here, designing abstract class without subclass is useless. Is useless. So up to this, go through once, guys. I will give one or two minutes time. Please go through that notes and then I will go practical. Yeah. Done. Hello. I will wait one or two minutes. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Uh, why we can't create uh, object for uh, after class? Yes, yes. I, I will tell. I will tell. Apart from that, any questions? Now, I will give one interview questions. Can abstract a class allow constructor and can we create an object to abstract a class? I will I will clarify these questions too. Don't don't worry. Huh. Now we can write our abstract class allow instance variables instance variables so general how to initialize instance variables how to allow sorry how to initialize instance variables how to initialize instance variables through constructor only right so that's why so constructor is allowed yes or no so here abstract class allow constructor to initialize to initialize abstract class instance variables now so can we create an object no right so abstract class constructor abstract class constructor get executed at the time of child class object get created now i will answer one by one first question is what uh, can we create an object so can abstract class allow constructor yes abstract class uh, allow constructor so this purpose is to initialize your abstract class variables but when it will get executed uh, whenever we will create an object to the subclass is question clear now second question what is the general meaning of abstract keyword anyone anyone any idea abstract hmm? abstract meaning abstract, abstract and hiding the implementation this is no abstract general hiding the implementation means okay second restrict restrict the developer to create an object to to create an object to abstract class that is the meaning internal meaning so i will give one scenario now abstract class demo so developer developer can write suppose here this is complete method or incomplete method this is complete method or incomplete method Complete method or incomplete method? Incomplete. Sorry. Complete method. Uh -huh. Incomplete method. Observe and answer it. Complete or incomplete? Complete, yeah. complete, sir. Complete. Sir, both, both. No, yaar. This method is a complete method or incomplete method, I am asking. Complete method, sir. Complete, complete method. Complete method. Complete method. Right? Complete method. Uh, it's a complete. complete method. It's complete. That is the complete method. You can create an object with abstract class. General. Yes or no? But some developers, okay. some developers will write only complete methods. Some developers will write only uh, incomplete methods. Some developers will write both. That is based on the requirement. Developer design only complete methods or only incomplete methods or both. Suppose. Developer design only incomplete method. Incomplete method. Is there any body? Is there any body? No body. Nobody. Nobody. If no body, nothing but no use, no use 
use case for that method, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah, in that case, no need to create an object to the class, yes or no? Yes. That's why. So here, Java Java provides the facility to the developers to allow only complete methods or allow only incomplete methods or both. We don't know based on the requirements. Some developer will design only complete methods. Some developers design only incomplete methods. Some developers design both complete and incomplete. So that's what we don't know. That's why Java guys restricted to create an object to the abstract class. Why? Because suppose developer should write only incomplete methods, no use for that incomplete methods. Your machine should override that incomplete methods in the subclass. That's why Java guys restrict the object creation. So we can't create an object to the abstract class. Abstract internal meaning, internal design is look like to restrict the developer to create an object to the abstract class. So clear? Yeah, go through one by one. Please let me know any questions. Just I will note down. Abstract class with complete methods. And one more. Abstract class with incomplete methods. And third one. Abstract class with complete and incomplete methods. We'll discuss. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir, uh, can we declare abstract method uh, inside a class, normal class? No, no. No, normal class contain only complete methods. We can't define incomplete methods as part of the concrete class. So uh, where we create the abstract keyword with the beside of method? Yes, yes. Before the written type, we can define. So in which class can we define uh, abstract method? Uh, except abstract Sorry? class. So abstract keyword is there, right? So the abstract keyword, can we use the methods? Yes, yes, before, before, yes, at abstract keyword we can use at class level as well as method level. Whenever we we'll use abstract at class level, that is the abstract class. Whenever we will use abstract at method level, that is incomplete method. Okay. So inside abstract class, uh, uh, which is not having the body, those methods are calling as a abstract, abstract methods, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. For the first program, after class, with complete methods. With complete methods, yeah. Now observe here, yeah. So now I am going to define abstract class with only complete methods. That is the first case. Otherwise, before that one. One minute before that one before uh, demoing the two examples observe abstract class with constructor we'll discuss whether this is possible or not okay yeah now observe go to this one of public abstract class class name demo now ob observe yeah so this class is defined with abstract keyword so one minute just i save this one yeah now this class contain any constructor this class contain any constructor huh this class contain any constructor. No. Then yes, sir, yes, sir. the compiler will provide default constructor. Yes, sir. So here abstract class demo default constructor. That's it. Now just I will take two parameters int employee or uh, int customer number and string customer name. 
these two are called what other is one minute up to this first we'll discuss this one abstract class with the default constructor now observe so this is the abstract class or normal class this is abstract class or normal class sir as of now abstract class abstract class right so here can we create an object to abstract class no sir we cannot create yeah we must and should define some class for the abstract class now yes observe i am going to define sub class for this new class so this is the sub class as of now this is the independent class how to provide the relationship by using extends keyword which keyword which keyword extends now this class does not contain any constructor then compile will provide default constructor now here sub class default constructor that's it now in main method general execution start from main method i will create an object to the uh, child class, child class. class. Now observe what will happen whenever I will create an object to the subclass demo bi is equal to new demo. So here already yesterday class I explained. So here you are creating an object by using default new operator along with the default constructor. In this class, first call is implicitly it will call to super class, uh, yeah. super class default constructor, right? Yes or no? Like this, right? Yes, sir no need to call manually yeah that's it in this case super class construct get executed now observe run it yeah any questions any questions all right yeah. now i will copy this one Please mute. Now this is default constructor, parameter constructor. Huh? Sorry. Default constructor. Yeah. So with default constructor. Now my requirement is only parameterize. What is this? Parameterized constructor, sir. Sorry? So this is uh, now you are telling parameters constructor, sir. Yes. I am I am going to discuss parameterized. Please observe whether this is allowed or not allowed. Please. Yeah. So here is the abstract class. In the abstract class, I will define customer number and customer name. So assume this is the parameter constructor C and O string c name these two are local variables ha uh, these two are called what in this case instance variables and local variables are same we will differentiate instance variables and local variables by using this keyword this keyword, this keyword super parameterize constructor now this dot cno equal to cno and this dot c name equal to c name that's it this is parameterized now go to subclass observe here automatically subclass constructor will throw error why because it will always expect a parent class default constructor in this case in this case there is no default constructor that's why it will throw the error now you will call manually uh, super dot uh, 10 comma three no. Okay. Any questions? Now, please observe. Can I can I access that variables in subclass C and O C name? Why? Because inheritance relationship is there. Logically, we will get the features from that class. So C and O C name. That's it. Now 
go to main class so here ti dot this that's it sir need to pass arguments here sorry now clear guys right uh, instead of sorry so while creating your voice default sir your voice is breaking guys uh, instead of default constructor uh, is it okay sir while creating or we can constructor pass it right uh, instead of hard coding yes yes you can pass that values from main uh, instead of your hard coding no can we pass the arguments while creating object yes yes can you try yeah okay yeah we'll we'll try the one example that one yeah this is the driver class yes sir we can try yeah. okay so so one more one more example on this so here observe here so in demo class how many parameters are there two parameters this is file okay now so here observe here i will so here cno ah uh, string c name and string dep how many parameters are there now three how many parameters three huh? three two parameters i will call super class two parameter string up to this any questions up to this any questions no now i will define one more here now this dot dep is equal to dep now clear So here, yeah. so instead of uh, hard coding here, I will pass that values from main method. For the main method, where is the main method? Yeah. Here, yeah. one, three, no. Later. Yeah. So clear. Now can I can I design a constructor as part of abstract class? Huh? Huh? Yes. So I think everyone clear, right? So an abstract abstract class with constructor. I will post notes up to this. Go through these notes once. Everyone okay? Then I will go through next one. Please go through that notes. i have a small question professor so every time we instead of using the parent class uh, so we can use the parent class as a abstract class sorry every time we are creating a parent class right with the concurrent class so instead yes, of every time subclass create... is, yes subclass is mandatory for abstract class without subclass without subclass designing abstract class is useless yeah that's what uh, so every time for the parent class we can use the abstract class right for the child class we can create the concurrent class but uh, yes, every time yes, yes. for the parent class we can create the abstract class yes 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 can i go this one abstract class with complete methods that is the first one observe here uh, this is uh, this is abstract class 
now just i will write complete method public void m1 so here sys out term from abstract class demo this is complete method complete or incomplete complete or incomplete huh complete method or incomplete method complete it's complete a complete method, method right now complete. for mandatory for subclass is mandatory so leave it like this leave it so subclass is mandatory why because we can't create an object to the abstract class now just to create an object and call to the your m complete method that's it Any questions? Again, I will show you. So, abstract class contain only complete. This is the requirement. Based on the requirement, we will design only complete or only incomplete like this. So, this is one. Two. This is three. That's it. Now read the next program. Incomplete methods, incomplete. Observe here. Now in this case, I am going to design only incomplete methods. Public int add. This is complete method or incomplete method? Complete or incomplete? Complete or incomplete? Incomplete. 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 But incomplete method motion should define with one keyword, right? What is the keyword? Abstract. Abstract. Error gone up there here. Abstract. That's it. In here, we will override that method. This method, whatever method is there in the demo incomplete method. Override means redefining same method in the subclass. Provide the logic. Now here, remove abstract. So <coughs> return n one plus n two. Now here you will provide the body. That's it. Now go to main method. Now here add ten comma ninety sum display that sum. That's it. Run it. Any questions? Now, this is the case where abstract class contain only incomplete method. That, that is the purely based on the requirement. So clear this one. Now go to this one. This is the driver class. That's it. Last case is huh, both complete as well as incomplete methods. Now go to demo. This is complete or incomplete? Huh? Incomplete. Now I am going to one complete method like this. This is out. I am from demo abstract class. That's it. Now go to demo ample. So here that complete method no need to override. Now if you want you can override here in driver class call that method as well. Di dot m1. That's it. So now clear guys. So can we write? We can based on the requirement. We can design only abstract class with complete methods or abstract class with incomplete methods or abstract class with both complete as well as incomplete methods. Any questions up to this? This is overall about abstract class. So now here you know multiple multi-level all the inheritance types you can you can define by using abstract class as well. Can you try that one as a homework? Yeah. So in tomorrow session, 
will start interfaces thank you all we'll meet tomorrow